Hi guys, welcome back. We are on the third type of the Enneagram, the Achiever today. And um, we just want to welcome back our audience um, from here in Indonesia and around the world. So thanks for joining us today as we do our fourth session and our third uh, Enneagram type today. So today, as I just said, we are going to be learning all about the achiever, which is the third type in the Enneagram. The Bible figure that we will be talking about today is Jacob, and the Bible reference is 1 Corinthians 13.1. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbals. And just our purpose for today is to better understand the achiever, their strengths, weaknesses, and communication styles. So let's just dive in. Just a reminder that you can take the Enneagram test. The link is under the description uh, below the YouTube video, and also the notes for today's session are there as well. So you can print those off or um, write on your tablet to uh, follow along with us today. So as we dive in, the Enneagram type three is called the Achiever. So as you can kind of probably guess by the name, is that the Achiever is someone who is very driven, is driven to achieve, is driven to um, be successful. Probably a lot of businessmen, lawyers, some of those kind of really hard um, professions can often be achievers. They really want to be the most successful or the, the greatest at their field. So they are often described as very motivated. They are motivated to um, do their best. They're highly motivated to try new things. They're highly motivated to uh, be leaders, like be in leadership. Um, so they are highly motivated. They're ambitious. They often want to um, kind of keep striving for more, keep pushing themselves for more, um, to just kind of achieve the greatest thing that they can achieve. Um, often, these are people who just never be, really become complacent. They kind of just keep pushing themselves forward to always be better. Um, they can be adaptable but they can also be image conscious. So they like often think about themselves and how other people perceive them. So they don't want uh, people to not see what they're doing or they often really care about what people think of them. If they think that they are successful, if they think that they are um, worthy to be in the position that they are in, they really care about what people um, think of them. So the besetting sin, which as you've learned from the other sessions, is just a constant um, sin or a thing that kind of keeps coming back up in the lives of a three can sometimes be that image, um, wanting to always look perfect, caring about what other people think, and promoting yourself. So really um, wanting to have people see you in a light that is very flattering, that they people think that you are worthy and that you are um, just someone really special. So I think that can often be a sin and kind of that people pleasing and or just um, really wanting to be seen as someone great can kind of be the motivation behind some things that threes um, might choose to do kind of to keep on achieving. But the underlying emotion, as you can see with that, is if they want to look good, they want for people to see what they're doing, they really care about what people think of them, their underlying emotion is sh shame. So they think, I don't want people to think I'm not good enough, or I don't want people to think that I um, don't deserve this position that I'm in. So then when they don't live up to that in their own selves, they often think they are filled, or they feel shame that they aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. And so they, um, 
kind of carry that weight heavily upon their shoulders, even though these are some of the most successful people in the entire world, are achievers, and they, but they still feel like they're not good enough, and they can kind of internalize that and really carry a lot of deep-seated shame because they um, always want to be better, and they're always striving for more. And so threes often believe that they must be impressive and successful. So kind of those are the driving factors that threes often um, kind of push them forward. They want to, for people to think that they're impressive. They want to be impressive. They want to do impressive things. But they also, then they want to be successful. And they want others to see them as successful and um, that kind of is their motivation to work a lot and to kind of keep pushing themselves for bigger and better things. And so those are kind of some of the basics about the achiever. And Jason's going to come up and talk a little bit more about the spiritual formation and the Bible character that has to do with the three. So thanks, guys. Thank you, Kristen. And um, yeah. We are so thankful for, for the achievers because they certainly uh, do a lot in this, in this world. And as Krista mentioned, a lot of great leaders uh, are, are threes. Um, one of the great biblical characters that gives us an example of a three is that of, of Jacob. And, and so you can sort of see this all throughout, all throughout his story. Uh, as, as Kristen mentioned, threes are very motivated by, by success, by winning, right? And we find Jacob, even when he was in his mother's womb, was fighting with his brother Esau, uh, right? And, and uh, when, he, when he's, his father's about to die, he devises this, this plan uh, to steal his brother's birthright, uh, then he even pretends to be his brother at his uh, father's, father's deathbed. Of course, this doesn't land him in a good place with his brother, so he has to flee, uh, flee the country. Um, and, and we find in, in that journey even, right, he has this, this dream or this vision. Uh, and, if, and of course, it, uh, it involves a ladder going up to going up to heaven and angels coming uh, up and down sort of interesting right that this achiever uh, has one of the great stories of his life represented by this ladder uh, Jacob's ladder in fact we call it and I, I think it's it's a great illustration of the fact that um, three is very much are motivated by climbing that ladder of success if if you will and Jacob is a, is a great example of this. Um, for threes, as Krista mentioned, life is about being productive. It's about being successful. It's about accomplishing, uh, accomplishing things. Um, and there is this temptation to be preoccupied with their image uh, or, or their success more than who they are in, in Christ. Uh, so I think it's important for, for uh, achievers to remember that the Spirit of Christ wants to transform uh, the, the fruit of, of self-promotion and shame into love, into humility, uh, and that we can rest in our Heavenly Father's approval. We don't need the approval of man as, as, Paul, as Paul told us. Now, Threes have some great strengths when it comes to their, their spiritual disciplines and their spiritual formations. Um, like threes are great at things like a Bible reading plan. And, and you, can, you, can probably, you can probably see why. Like having, having some marked plan of reading the Bible through in a year. Uh, well, a, a three is usually all over that, right? Because they can measure their success. And they know when they get to day 365 that, that they cross over that finish line and they've done something. They've been successful in this. So, so like a daily reading plan, a uh, Bible reading plan is, is something that comes easy for 
most threes. Having a, a fixed time of prayer within the course of a day is something that can uh, come naturally to a, to a three. Again, because they can check the mark, right? I've, I've done that. Now, they have to be careful uh, that, that it isn't done in a pharisaical way so they can say, I check that box. Uh, but it is very motivating for them to know that I need to spend that time with God. I put that hour aside on my, on my schedule and I do that. Therefore, I feel successful uh, in, my, in my relationship with God. But there are challenges that, that a three has. Uh, things like confession of sin isn't, isn't very easy for, for a three. Um, James 5 uh, exhorts us to confess our sins one to another. Um, and, and for any disciple of Christ, confession can be very difficult, but especially for threes because it sort of forces, forces them to deal with what's going on beneath the surface of busyness in their life. And that can be quite, quite challenging. Also things like, um, uh, social media fast. That's been something popular, uh, over the last few years can be, can be difficult for, for threes and not just for spiritual purposes, but all of us need times where we unplug from things like social media or technology it can be very challenging for a three because a lot of threes really thrive on being able to put things out there and, and check those likes, right? Like how many people have viewed this? How many people have liked this? Uh, they, they thrive off of that. It makes them feel good about themselves. Uh, you could say in Indonesian, they're very gay air about it, right? Uh, so, so they, they, they really desire that kind of gratification. So it's, it's tough for them. It's, it's challenging, uh, for them. Um, Threes, threes at their worst, and we, we see the best and the worst in, in Jacob, right? Threes at their worst uh, can fear failure and, can, and, and, and find humiliation in, in failure or perceived uh, failures. And they can be very uh, exploitative and, and, and opportunistic. And we see this in Jacob, right? He exploited his brother Esau and his hunger. Um, and, and he really uh, was opportunistic in his, in his opportunities. Uh, he, coveted, he coveted his brother's birthright and he wanted it. So he had a chance and he took a chance to, to get it. Um, but threes at their best are some amazing people. Uh, they can be very self-accepting and authentic and some of the most benevolent people uh, in, in the world. Um, I think it's important for us to remember the scripture that Kristen gave us in the beginning, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 1. And this is a great passage for all of us, but, but for threes in particular on this day. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but I do not have love, I am nothing but a, go a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Without the core motivation of love, Paul says that our efforts are nothing but noise. Um, and we're only seeking to draw attention to ourself and our own successes. We're only trying to impress uh, if it's not done in love. So our challenge to you today and to all threes would be uh, go be the person that God's called you to be. Go be that achiever. But let your core motivation be that of love. Let's pray. God, we love you and we thank you so much for your goodness in our lives. And we thank you, Lord, for the gift of threes. They truly are some amazing people. And uh, Lord, they, they do great things when they're functioning at their best. And we just pray, Lord, that you would help every three within uh, this organization or that is listening, uh, Lord, to find strength in you. And uh, God, to find... Um, Lord, the, the greatest gratification in life not to come from um, what they do, but to come from who they are in you. And uh, Lord, we just pray for your blessings to be, upon, to be upon our three friends in your strong name. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great, great day.